Welcome to the House. Uh, what you're going to see down below us here is the, where the 98 members of the House of Representatives sit. And off to the right here, you're going to see the board. You'll see up on the board there, we've actually got the names of every one of the legislators. And this front area, we call that the rostrum. That's where the Speaker of the House actually conducts all the business down here and swings his gavel. As we vote, our name actually will turn color up there. If we vote yes, our name will turn green. If we vote no, our name will turn red. So everybody on the floor knows just within a few seconds how everybody else is voting. And I actually sit down on the opposite side over there. How this place is structured is of the 98 seats, the Democrats sit on the north end and the Republicans sit on the south end. Currently there's a Democrat majority. And so they're, they're kind of infringing on the south end a little bit down here. But uh, this is where ma the majority of the business takes place when it comes to actually finally passing a piece of legislation off the House floor. Hi, welcome to the fourth floor of the State Legislative Building here. One of the things that's really cool about this building is the dome. And uh, the dome in this building is actually the fourth largest masonry dome in the world. Uh, this dome that I'm looking at right now actually weighs over 33 million pounds. It's being supported by the columns around here. So if you ever get a chance to come on down here, the architecture is incredible uh, for no other reason. I know that it's also rated as one of the top domes in the world. Welcome to the state reception room here at the state capitol. The room that you see here is actually kind of a ballroom form. We, the governor hosts dignitaries here. Uh, I even on occasion have hosted many school kids down here where the kids will come and as they're given the tour of the capitol building, we actually like to come in here and we'll take pictures of a lot of the kids. You'll see on the walls and on the floor and even with the furniture and the piano back there in the corner, uh, the history is just incredible down here. Just a lot of rich uh, history. If you are able to come down here, I sure uh, would, walk, would hope that you would take one of the formal tours because it's unbelievable uh, the information that uh, hangs on the walls here that we just kind of take for granted as we walk by. The carving that we're looking here is a bronze of President George Washington. You know, some of the people uh, have asked me, why is it that the nose of George Washington is so much brighter than, than the rest. And you know, and I, I really don't know, quite frankly, I just, it, it kind of puzzles me as to why this end right here is so polished. But no, actually people come through here and they rub George's nose for good luck. That's apparently what I've been told. I'm not really into that, but hence the bright, shiny nose. One of the things that uh, is kind of the centerpiece of the dome here is, is the massive chandelier that was actually made, manufactured by the Tiffany Company. From here, it doesn't look that big, but it is actually large enough that you could take a Volkswagen Bug and put it inside the chandelier and spin it around, and there's plenty of room for this. Now we are actually in the Senate chamber at the state capitol. You'll, as you look around, you'll notice, first of all, this is a much smaller room than the House side. The main reason is there's only 49 senators as compared to 98 uh, state representatives. The other thing that's a little different about this room is we vote in the House, we vote by pushing buttons, yes and no. In the Senate, they do a roll call, an oral roll call, where the senator's name will actually be called out, and they have to either say yay or nay, yes or no, to any bill that they're going to be voting on. I'm standing at the steps of the state capitol right now. Actually, these steps lead up and into the uh, rotunda area of the capitol. One of the things that's interesting about the Capitol building here is it's actually a smaller replica of the Capitol we have back in Washington, D.C. And uh, so I would surely encourage any of you to come down here and take a look at it. This office here, off to, the, to my right actually, is the governor's office. Then we have the lieutenant governor's office in the other corner over here. Over to this side, we've got the secretary of state and the treasurer's offices as well. This is also where we have the Senate floor and the House floor where we're actually gonna be voting on bills. Um, Whenever people come down here and they want to kind of, you hear about people that are, that are standing at the steps of the Capitol and they're, they're trumpeting whatever their issue may be, this is actually where the gathering place is at for that. This area is also known as the flag circle. In the center of the parking lot here is where we've got our state and U.S. flags and then we've got the Temple of Justice on the other side and I'll take you over there and show you what that's all about. I'm now standing in front of the Temple of Justice which is just across the parking lot actually from the state Capitol building here. The Temple of Justice is where our state Supreme Court judges reside, and they are the ones to be interpreting the laws that us as legislators are actually writing into law. Where we're at right now is uh, in front of the Governor's Mansion. The Governor's Mansion, as you'll see, is located right next to the State Capitol building. 
And the governor and her husband actually reside there, as I understand it, not only during session, but even most of the year. And uh, the grounds are meticulously maintained, of course. We've got state patrol kiosks all the way around the perimeter here. One of the things about the Capitol that I probably appreciate the most is the fact that we have these memorials around the Capitol grounds here. I'm standing in front of the World War II Memorial and off to my right behind me here, uh, this memorial here actually has uh, engraved in these pieces of brass here, uh, fallen soldiers. If you look closely, is that the engravings are done in the brass in the shapes of soldiers. So it's almost like a silhouette of a soldier. Off to my left, your right, you'll see these stalks of wheat over here and as my understanding that there is one stock of wheat in remembrance of every soldier that was lost. Um, we have World War I memorials here, we have um, a wall uh, related to Vietnam veterans here and many other uh, uh, memorials around the Capitol here that are just phenomenal. Another reason for you to come on down and, and uh, take a look at the phenomenal grounds that we have down here. Around the campus we have several other buildings. This building here, the Irv Newhouse building, is actually where the Republican Senators reside. Um, we have the Irv, New Irv Newhouse was actually a Republican that served here for many, many years. As a matter of fact, uh, as of right now, uh, his son is serving in the legislature and I have the privilege of having him as one of my, of my colleagues as well. I'm standing in front of the John A. Sherberg building. The Sherberg building is where the Senate Democrats reside. It is also where all the committees as, with respect to the Senate take place. And as you go into this building, there are doors on both sides to where all of the hearing rooms are located. And that's where all the big issues are heard. You know, kind of a hearing room type of, of atmosphere in there where you've got the senators sitting up front. Then you have a kind of a, um, a, for lack of a better word, kind of a witness area where the person who's testifying will sit in front of them that's giving their their testimony in favor of or, or opposed to any bill that might be before them. And then there's also a room in every one of those hearing rooms uh, for you know citizens to come and watch what's going on. We have the same type of thing that goes on over in the House side as well. Uh, in fact, I'm going to be in this building later on today testifying on a bill that I've that I've run in the House of Representatives. It's passed out of the House and now it's over here in the Senate and I've got to go through the same thing over here in the Senate now and testify in front of Senators to see if I can convince them that the issue that I'm bringing before them as a body is something that's worthy of their vote. Now we have heard of other folks that have had other accidents related to equipment. We're standing in front of the John L. O'Brien building now. And in the John L. O'Brien building, this is where the House of Representative members have their offices. It's a four-story building, so you're gonna see the top actually two stories filled with legislators from the House of Representatives. On the main floor of this building is where we have all the House of Representatives committee meetings at. And I'm actually about to head in and sit in on the Transportation Committee meeting here. So I wanna thank you for the time that we spent today and I gotta head off to a committee. Take care. Yeah, look at that. Go ahead, get it. Oh, there it goes. Blew it off.